Well, Adrian, UFO advocates, they actually want more. And really, can you blame them? They say the truth is out there and that the Pentagon can do a whole lot more to inform the public. In June, the military admitted Navy pilots aren't alone in the skies. The Pentagon releasing cockpit videos of unexplained aerial phenomena, or UAPs. Oh, it's splashed. It's splashed. Now the Department of Defense is going a step further, forming a new group to figure out what's zooming around our airspace. But to investigative filmmaker Jeremy Corbell. Today doesn't represent a huge win for UFO transparency. It's another case of the government hiding the truth. It appears to me that the kind of overt, we're going to put this out by the DOD, it's almost as if this announcement is a weaponized attempt to, to kind of undercut what we're seeing with the support from Congress and the UFO legislation. Kerbel is talking about an amendment to next year's defense budget. If approved, the government would be required to submit yearly reports on UFO activity that would be open to the public. That is a really robust series of amendments that, that would really create a difference and an accountability and a transparency to this perceived threat. The people skeptical of the government have their skeptics. Here's astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson earlier this year on News Nation's Banfield. I'm not claiming that I can explain everything. I'm just simply asserting that if you want me and many of my scientific colleagues to believe that we are being visited by intelligent aliens from another galaxy or another planet, we need better evidence than what is put forth. But Jeremy Corbell says this isn't about ETs, it's about UAPs. The government says several of the objects moved with a propulsion unseen in any known technology. It's an old guard dinosaur thing to think you can keep this covered up from the American public. It is now admitted UFOs are real and it is admitted that they represent a technology that we don't fully have a grasp on. No matter what UFOs represent, it's just exciting. It means the world is bigger than we ever imagined. And the new Pentagon group has quite the name, the Airborne Object Identification and Management Synchronization Group. That was a mouthful. It will be made up of defense and intelligence experts, and they'll study UAP sightings near military areas. Adrian. Yeah, there's a big difference between Martians and uh, unidentified objects or cra aircraft. Um, yeah. So what do you think about this? Oh, man, G George Knapp and I warned you, we warned everybody about this, that there would be pushback <clears throat> by the Pentagon and the DOD. Any other day in history, this announcement appears encouraging. But it really what this announcement is, is a weaponized attempt to undercut the congressional support for the UFO or UAP legislation and the amendment that was just put forward from the National Defense Authorization Act. So this is a power grab by the Pentagon, and it was a sneak attack. You know, there's been this cone of silence for over 80 years, and this Under Secretary of Defense for Intelligence, which is where this new program was just named from, is the same organization that tried to kill the, the UAP efforts for all these years. They've constantly lied about it to the American public, and they have you know, persecuted witnesses. They encourage classification for this stuff that is over the top. And honestly, they're only looking at incursions in special use areas. This is not what we have been fighting for. We have been fighting for what is right now being proposed by Senator uh, Gillibrand and all of those amendments we're seeing uh, being looked at by Congress right now. So basically, look, you have the Pentagon trying to take control of the UAP narrative again, and I don't see this as a good thing if it's just isolated. But Harvey, your optimism is on point. You can't put this genie back in the bottle. Even the show we did together, the videos that, that, that uh, George Knapp and I released through you and, and that we were able to get out to the world, that really poked the bear. Now, if there's a fight going down, the American people are going to win because represented government, it has to represent us as citizens. So when I said, you, you know, UFO Twitter Unite, I'm not kidding. We have power. The, the American citizens have power now. So look, I want to be positive about this. And you're right, Harvey. Maybe just the act itself of fighting against this transparency is going to further create transparency. Watch more podcast clips now on our YouTube channel. Go to Livewire Podcast Clips and watch more great podcast videos just like this one.